What is the value of the energy of activation and the change in enthalpy for the reverse reactions in the first animation in the above lesson? Is the reverse reaction exothermic or endothermic? Well, let's start off with the energy of activation. To find this, we look at where we start to the highest point on the graph. We can see that we're starting off at 75 kilojoules of energy and we end up at the top of the graph at 275 kilojoules of energy. Finding the difference between these two is 275 minus 75 leaving us with 200 kilojoules. That is our energy of activation for the reverse reaction. To find the change in enthalpy for the reverse reaction, what we look at is where do we start and compare it to where we end it. We start off this reaction at 75 kilojoules and we end the reaction at 125 kilojoules. To find the difference, we take where we end up minus where we start, so 125 minus 75, and that gives us a change in enthalpy of 50 kilojoules. I do want to remind you, these numbers are relative. When we're looking at the change in enthalpy, we're, we don't really know all the energy involved in a given compound. But what we can look at is the change involved between those two. Now in terms of is the reverse reaction endothermic or exothermic, what we look at is where we started and where we finished, and we can see that where we finish is higher up on the graph than where we started. This means to complete the reaction, we use up a lot of energy and we don't give back as much to the environment. It ends up higher up. Therefore, this is an endothermic reaction when we're looking at the reverse reaction.